We'll see the Washington Wizards as they play against the Orlando Magic. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge joins us from the sideline. Outside, Russell. Hughes with it. Pass to Jordan. Rebounded by Kemp. Here's Armstrong. McGrady outside. And this midpoint of the season when a lot of teams GA have trouble staying healthy. It's such a long season. Every team is going to go through a few bumps in the road. You just hope you don't have multiple players out at the same time. So the Orlando Magic able to put the first points up on the board. How Hughes, his last outing, 16 points for him. Fades. Jordan can't get it to go. Outside Hill. Kicks it to Armstrong. Passes it to McGrady. Gets an open look and hits. McGrady's got five now. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now, here's Jordan. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. Savvy dime by Hughes. Not sleeping on that chance to set up another guy. Now the pass to Armstrong. Thomas against Hill. Here's Kemp. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Tell you what, Sean Kemp is a wrecking ball inside. Feels like no defense can contain him once he gets in close. Pass to Jordan. Let's it go from the wing. The putback. It's good on the putback. Good awareness that time to put the shot right back up before the defense could react. For Orlando, they've gotten their first three shots to go in for him. We'll start off this game. McGrady against Jordan. A shot by McGrady, no good. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Brown outside. Switch, 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 switch. Out left to the wing. Orlando grabs the miss. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, and, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim. Boy, I tell you what, I think you got to really appreciate the grit. Getting dirty, staying engaged. That's really what defense is all about. Hill passes to Kemp. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Really solid play by Kemp there. Not allowing the foul to deter him and earning the N1 chance. Orlando shooting their first free throw of the night. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. And comparing to the numbers of last season, they've made a bit of improvement. So that's some positive momentum they can look to build on. That one misses for Kemp. And this is a guy, Sean Kemp, all the talent in the world could be a perennial double-double machine, just a matter of staying focused. And the basket by Thomas. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And here's Armstrong. A 14-point game for him in the win against Detroit. A shot by McGrady, no good. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Hughes with it. Still scoreless. Dishes it to Jordan. Just five to shoot. Shoots it. Orlando grabs the miss. Their last encounter was in Orlando. Yeah, it was a narrow win. But at that last meeting, I think foul trouble for the other side may have really just tipped the scale and allowed them to escape with the W. You know, whether it was their smart play or a few whistles that perhaps could have gone either way, when, when games are tight, every decision becomes more magnified. So timeout called here, the first for Washington.
Lou, he's checked in for Jordan. Mike Miller's checked in for Orlando. Wizards trail by five. The screen from Brown. Here's Lou. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Brown the pass to Hughes. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Yeah, and one thing about Hughes, that man is always ready to shoot it. Hughes against Armstrong. Pass to Hill. Baseline try. Offensive rebound. No good with the layup. Wizards have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Lou passes to Hughes. Brown feeling out a bit. Miller against Russell. 54 seconds left to play here in the first. Thomas, no luck. Magic leading by three. Hill inside. Over Lou. Here's Kemp. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Thomas is screen on Armstrong. Hughes, good. And Hughes, a nice looking shot there. When the D gives him room to shoot, he does not hesitate. It's a four second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Ori passes to Miller. Grant Hill on the wing. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Tell you what, good luck trying to stop Hill inside. I mean, once he's this deep, the defense is done. Passes it to Brock. That one doesn't drop. And so the first quarter is in the books. Magic lead by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Orlando. Well, I've liked their assertiveness inside. They've been getting that way and playing that way the whole time, setting the tone right away that the inside area is their territory. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. So it's Washington now following McGrady's three-point attempt. The shot by Hughes, no good. Miller surveying the floor. He kicks to McGrady. Puts up a three. Sinks the three-pointer. McGrady's got the lead up to eight now for Orlando. When you compare the numbers from the 80s, mid-90s to today, scoring Greg and pace is down. Why? Well, I think the game has become dominated by big men, and so that lends to slowing it down, trying to grind out one. Tell you what, the defense better pay attention to Haywood inside, otherwise he's pounding it on top of their head. The pass to Miller. McGrady outside. And again, it's Orlando converting. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Washington shooting around 40% from the floor here. Pass to Leitner. 
He dishes it to Jeffers. That one, no good. Good D by Miller. To the paint, Hummer. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. makes the first and we know last season marked the creation of the National Basketball Development League the NBDL and the NBA family now creating Clark its own minor league system yeah I like going in that direction for the NBA and its teams it's made travel a little easier the eight teams currently all clustered in the southeast part of the country we'll see how that expands and grows and evolves but I think the league itself is sure to develop over time while developing future NBA players. Now, here is Russell. Nothing on the board. Feeds it to Brown. Sinks that one from the post. Yeah, Brian Russell is a shoot-first player, but he's also very unselfish. Did a nice job with the read and made a good pass. Now, here is McGrady. He picked up 27 points in the last win against Detroit. And it was not a one-man show. That was the best part. He had just as good a game with his passing as he did with his scoring. A relentless effort there from Russell. He runs into some close defense and just keeps pushing. The Wizards shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. And as a team, really just middle of the pack in terms of their percentage from the line at about 76. Take One of the things they've done, guys, is taken Two pride shot. in their free throw shooting this season, and rightfully so. Free throw good, Russell. Yeah, and the defense of Russell just outstanding. Feels like he can shut down any player in this league. And Washington making a change here. Thomas has checked in, and a switcher also for Orlando. Kemp's checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Orlando leading by six. McGrady outside. Six to shoot, and the foul called on Larry Hughes. That is his first foul of the game. Kemp passes to McGrady. Shot clock at six. Here's Armstrong. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Well, I like his determination and his attitude and aggressiveness, but the defense wasn't going to back off that shot. They were tight on it. Hughes, the pass to Lou. Pass to Hughes. Over Armstrong. The shot by Hughes, no good. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for the Orlando Magic. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's McGrady. Nice shot from the wing. McGrady's got 12 points in the game. Yeah, you got to love seeing McGrady when he's hot. An amazing score from any spot on the floor. Lou passes to Hughes. And here is Brown. Pass to Hughes. Over Armstrong. Good on that shot. And with that, the Magic lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Hughes. So for the Wizards, their last game a loss to Toronto. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic.
Grant Hill. He's checked in for the Magic. Armstrong passes to Hill. With the fadeaway. The rebound by Hughes. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. A chance here to get a quick injury report. Now an update on Michael Jordan from David Aldridge. David, what'd you find out? Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for Washington. He informed me that the knee was bent slightly backwards and is indeed hyperextended, but that there does not appear to be any structural damage. Right in the heart of the schedule, this is a major blow. The coaches are going to find out a lot about their team. Guys? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, when, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Washington calls timeout. Michael Jordan is checked in for the Wizards. And a switcher also for Orlando. Tracy McGrady's checked in for Mike Miller. We've got 113 left now here in the second. Jordan passes to Hughes. Back to Jordan over McGrady. And another miss by Washington. Well, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. But it's now to Armstrong. And there are the Magic with another bucket. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter. Wizards trail by 10. Hughes kicks to Russell. Brown outside. Michael Jordan on the wing. McGrady covering. A shot by Jordan, no good. And, and that's really just not heads up basketball. Don't try a fadeaway when nobody. Oh my goodness! Come on now. We're doing it with style. McGrady punishing the D for giving him that kind of airspace. For Washington, they've gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Jordan with a screen on Armstrong. Here's Hughes. The 17-footer goes down. Hughes got four points in the quarter. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And there's the pass to Armstrong. 
from deep. That shot off. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. It's the Magic up by 10. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. We're seeing a tremendous game from Tracy McGrady. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Magic leading by 10. Armstrong passes to McGrady. Camp with a screen for McGrady. Stolen by Thomas. Jordan looking it over. Pass to Hughes. Corey against Brown. Left side, Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. A rebound by Kemp. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Hill kicks to McGrady. Over Jordan. The shot by McGrady, no good. Wizards trail by ten. Hughes, the pass to Brown. Here's Jordan. Over Armstrong. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Brown. Jordan's got his second basket. The touch on Jordan's close range shots is really outstanding. He almost makes it look simple and easy to score in close like that. Now here is McGrady. He's got 14. Kemp a screen on Jordan. McGrady passes to Kemp. And that one drops. Kemp's got eight points. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Here's Hughes. He's got eight, and that one is good. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now, here is McGrady. They're leading by eight. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 16 points for him. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? Well, that might be fair, but I wouldn't want to take away from what he did in that last game. I mean, let's just say it's a pretty nice run he's on, no matter how you decide to frame it up. Orlando leading by 10. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Pass to Kemp. Good. And it's McGrady who picks up the assist. Yeah, and you got to respect the size McGrady has. Easily seen over the defense there to spot the open man. Jordan passes to Hughes. Jordan a screen on Armstrong. Here's Hughes. Again, the Wizards score. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. Orlando, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the hand. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Armstrong passes to Ori. Mug Freddy with the ball. Picked up by Brown. McGrady against Brown. Shot clock at five. Washington with the rebound. Brown's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
Hughes against Armstrong. Hughes the pass to Russell. To the middle. Here's Brown. Good and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists tonight. A real force to be reckoned with inside. Brown using his height and strength to dominate. Here's Hill. And Thomas with the block. Outside Russell. Hughes the pass to Brown. Outside Jordan. Passes to Russell. Kicks to Brown. Wizards need to get a shot off here. And here's Jordan outside. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Washington calls timeout. Leitner's checked in for the Wizards. Lou comes in for Jordan. Orlando also making some changes. Hunter's checked in for Kemp. And Miller's subbed in for Tracy McGrady. There's 138 left in the third. On the wing, it's Larry Hughes. Who's watching this? Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team effort's been lacking, this guy's been on top of things. Now, here is Hill. He's certainly been a consistent piece of their offense, averaging about 14 and a half points a game. Hunter sets a screen for Hill. Inside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there, just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Magic. Shoot two. And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot. And they've also been ferocious inside, really taking advantage in the painted area and making good on those chances. For the Wizards, Haywood's checked in for Brown, and it's Cardinal in for Brian Russell. He's off on the second. Wizards trail by eight. Here is Cardinal. The pass to Leitner. Now Hughes. The tray. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Hughes got nine points here in the second half. When Hughes knocks down threes, he is a major headache for the opponent. Miller with a wide open look. It's good from the top of the key. Miller's got his first points of the night. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Pass to Hughes, and stolen by Hunter. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Hill. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Six on the shot clock. From 17 feet out. Hunter no good. And so it's Orlando. Bringing the quarter to a close with a seven point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We come back right after this.
And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Here's Dixon. Passes it to Lou. Here's Dixon. No good that time. Good D by Miller. Down low. Here's Vaughn. That's good. And it's Miller with the assist. Miller's got three assists in the game. Tremendous feed there from Miller. Great awareness. Here's Dixon. The pass to Lou. Outside Jordan. The feed to Haywood. And he converts the layup. Bully ball from Brendan Haywood right there, powering through that contact. Magic leading by seven. McGrady outside. Offline with his three. Now the Wizards with it. Pass to Dixon. It's blocked. And here's Miller outside. Drills the three-pointer. And how fluid is Miller on those catch-and-shoot opportunities? Immediately rising up there once the ball touches his hands. First minute and a half of basketball play here in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound and slam dunk by Haywood. And just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this lead. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spark. Which is a spark they desperately need. They've got to ramp up the intensity. Wizards trail by eight. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Pass to Dixon. Lock at six. Again, the Wizards good for two. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. You know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Here's McGrady following the bucket by the Wizards. Here's Vaughn. Just his first attempt. And it's Leitner with the rebound. Leitner's got six rebounds here tonight. Dixon passes to Lou. Here's Leitner. Nice ball movement by Washington. Here's Jordan. No good on the shot. Magic leading by six. Here's Vaughn. This is to McGrady. Passes it to Hunter. Here's Vaughn. Haywood grabs the board. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Outside Jordan. There's the pass to Leitner. Back to Jordan. Over Miller. Jordan's shot is off. Orlando's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Miller kicks to Vaughn. Back to Miller. To stop the drought. And it's McCrady that time on the assist by Miller. Miller's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Wizards trail by eight. Washington calls timeout. Nice game. Great performance by Tracy McGrady. Man, he continues to burn them with his scoring. The coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively. And a new group getting ready to come in for Washington. But John Thomas has checked in for Haywood. Brown comes in for Leitner. Ryan Russell, he's checked in for Dixon. And Larry Hughes is subbed in for Lou. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Guys, Doug Collins was just reviewing things with his team. He told us, guys, I need you all to come together right now on both ends. 
This game is not over. You need to go out there and take control now. We'll see how it looks coming out of the timeout, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Now, here is Russell. A three-pointer off the mark. And Hill has it in the corner. And stolen by Russell. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. Brown finds Jordan. Here's Hughes. Kemp defending. The shot by Hughes, no good. Magic leading by eight. Here's McGrady. And again, it's Orlando converting. And McGrady, as accomplished a mid-range shooter as we have in the game, keeps that high release point on the jump shot. Pass to Russell. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by McGrady. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. A pretty comfortable win for them in this one. Great effort. Pays off for the Magic. And every opportunity they manage to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. I think it paid off, that's for sure. And a milestone win for the season. This will push their victory total to 20 wins even. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. They've got one more game left against them, and there's no doubt they'll use this as a jumping-off point to take another game off them later in the year. At least that's the plan. Shooting two. Free throw good, McGrady. One of the most ferocious scorers in the game. McGrady's length and athleticism is so difficult to contain. And Washington going with a whole new group here. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Burke, he's checked in for Kemp. Hunter comes in for Ori. Mike Miller's checked in for Hill, and it's Vaughn in for Armstrong. And McGrady drops them both. 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Jeffries, the pass to Leitner. There's the pick. Here's Lou. The three-pointer, no good. And it's the Magic with the ball. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Here's Vaughn. Haywood covering. Here's Vaughn. And so it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. See you next time.